It's Memorial Day, and that means it's officially grilling season. So we're featuring great recipes from around the world in our new Global Grill series. And this morning, we're going all-American with barbecue chicken. Chef David Rose is joining us now from Atlanta. Chef Rose, thank you for joining us. But this is not your run-of-the-grill barbecue chicken. You're amping it up this morning. So um, yes, tell us what you're cooking. Michael, what's up, sir? Buenos dias. Good morning, America. Today I'm making a bourbon barbecue chicken with a red pepper mayo mm. and a jalapeno pineapple coleslaw. Because you know I'm all about that flavor, Mike. Well, you know what? <laughs> flavor. That's what you're it, it and, a, and a lot of the, I know you're about that flavor. And a lot of the flavor comes from the sauce. So what makes the perfect barbecue sauce? Every perfect sandwich deserves a perfect sauce. You gotta have balance. So you gotta have salt, you gotta have spice, you gotta have sweetness, and you gotta have that acid where it hits you right back here. So it's bourbon, barbecue sauce, a little bit of bourbon, a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of molasses, and the brown sugar molasses gives it a really nice, pleasant, bittersweet note. You gotta have some mustard in there as well, apple cider vinegar, mm. Worcester, and you got garlic powder, onion powder, and you gotta have that smoked paprika, Mike. Not paprika, paprika. <laughs> and you have in there as well the ketchup. The ketchup, and you bring that to a boil, whisk that together, let it cool down, and what you have is something delicious, something dreamy, sweet, mm. spice, and all that is nice right there. So I know you put a dry rub on the chicken before you put it on the grill, but at what point do you put that uh -huh. sauce on the chicken? Uh, at what point do you, uh, what do you want to do? You want to cook the chicken till about seven minutes on each side, 14 minutes. The last three to four minutes, you want to glaze the chicken. Come over here. Because there is sugar in that barbecue sauce, you don't want it to burn. So make sure the chicken is cooked through first. Then you take that barbecue sauce right there and you slather it. You make love to that chicken with that barbecue sauce. <laughs> barbecue <laughs> sauce, meat chicken. Yeah. Chicken, meat, barbecue sauce. And it's perfect. Let it glaze. Let it glaze. We're going to let it glaze. All right, <laughs> David, you're, you're bringing it next level. We got the FCC watching. Just a reminder. Uh, All about the levels. All right. Yeah. How, do we, how do we turn this into a sandwich now? Okay. You want to have that perfectly toasted bun. So you can do one of two things. You could use mayonnaise or you can use butter to get that nice, toasty, charred barrier on there. We're not about the soggy buns. We want nice, toasted buns. We want the sandwich in our mouth, not in our lap, and that's what a soggy bun gets you. So, toast your buns. Toast them. <laughs> okay, this you're is the best fire segment today. we've ever had no soggy buns. on GMA. And, and David, you, you mentioned coleslaw because you need something to go with, the, with this burger, but not just any coleslaw, pineapple jalapeno. Tell us, and you use maple yes, syrup in this also, some. which is amazing, I find. Yes, sir. Forget store-bought coleslaw, make your own. I charred off some pineapple and jalapeno because I'm all about that sweet and spice. And I use a little bit of maple syrup as well. So I add this to my coleslaw mixture. You got your mayonnaise, your Dijon mustard, and I stir that all together. Mix it together, toss, toss, toss. Let it sit, let it marinate, about a half an hour, hour in the fridge. And what you got right there, bam! The best <laughs> coleslaw you ever had. Your grandmama, your mama, your cousins, Everybody's be coming back for this jalapeno don't pineapple coleslaw. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chef David Rose, I tell you, I don't know who's going to follow you up on right. this Global Grill series, but they've got I'm a sorry. hard act to follow. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for amping it up and bringing it this morning. We appreciate you. My pleasure, sir. Always, always. Happy Memorial Day. Enjoy. All right, you too. Thank you. You can get this recipe on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.